Hi, I am Gabi Moreno and I am going to show you how to hide your API keys using NDK. What are going to do? Um, I am going to try you have fun. What I mean is we, if we learn something that uh, will be amazing, but no problem. Historically, we have uh, we have had several ways of storing API keys. The first one is to use build config field in the build.gradle file, one of the build.gradle file, and um, by the way, you can declare the API keys in a local.properties file to avoid including including it in your version control system. But the keys uh, will be inside the AP keys. Uh, although you can do it even worse. You can let them just inside the strings.xml. Uh, <laughs> finally, you can do the Chuck Norris way that will be to hard code them directly in your Kotlin code. Well, this is more a joke, but, but I am pretty sure that there are many people that continue doing this. What I mean is they are public, man. Um, the bundles are public. Uh, by the way, the AP key is inside them too and it is easy peasy to decompile and find the API keys. For example, we can use a platform like APK Pure to download the API keys and uh, with a tool with like API key tool, you can decompile the API key very, very easy. We can secure our keys with uh, more secure ways. Um, for example, getting them remotely from our backend, a Firebase remote config uh, or something equivalent. But this uh, has some cons. Uh, the first one is that it requires an internet connection. Although this will not be a big deal, we have other that could be that it is mm, like it is very difficult or even impossible to track the first actions of the user on a fresh install if we don't have the APA key stored locally that in fact the tracker library requires. On the other hand, I want to share that there are cases that store the AP keys, for example, the Google, the Google Cloud key ones. It's not a problem because we can restrict them. Um, and by the way, they are um, uh, pretty secure. Um, yes, that's that I want to share you today that the way we can secure and hide our API keys is using that native development kit. And one of the advantages of that, it is that uh, it generates binary files. Thus, the API keys are not visible directly uh, um, well, I don't want to say that it is not possible to to watch them in uh, decrypting the file or or something like that. But uh, that I want to say is that it is much difficult and more or less this is the idea behind security, mm, not to improve it. And for sure, um, this is what. I commented before that we can uh, use it the API keys at the very beginning of the of a fresh install of the user. Well, 
how this is this is okay but how uh, how we can do it well we can do it in eight steps uh, the first step um, is just to ensure that we have the indicator and the CMake installed. Second step is uh, to add the native file we are going to use uh, to our gitignore. And the third step, we create a directory called CPP inside our module name is um, module name slash src slash main the fourth step is to create a retrieved object or a class uh, doesn't matter that that will be the bridge between c++ and kotlin or java if it is the case i i <laughs> i hope it is kotlin but it could be, uh, yeah. Well, step five. Um, also, we create uh, the native file, um, and here we hard code. We we write hard coded the the key. It, that it it won't be a problem because this file is not in the in, in Git. And it won't appear easily in the APK. Okay, sixth step is just to, to add the CMake list file inside the module. We are going to, to do this. Um, yes, the, the almost the, the final step is to set up travel and that to 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 be able to compile all the stuff we we are talking about and yes that's it uh, we are able to use the object retriever wherever we want in in our project if you want to to copy and paste uh, the the pieces of code of that you have an example in in that uh, website in, it is a post of my website i'll put uh, the this directly in the description and also you have an example of of that uh, in an open source project that is uh, RT that it is an application to measure and calculate uh, the real time. And yes, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. If you like it, the video, give it with a like. And for sure, if you uh, are not subscribed yet, you can do it. Uh, just click in the button. And that's it. See you in the next video.